Hey there guys, you're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson and today I want to talk about some recommended tires. Stick around. Guys, before I get any further into this video, if you want to support Dirt Bike Channel, it won't cost you a cent, but if you'll buy tires down through my link down below, that helps me put food on the table and my wife and four kids would be forever in your debt. People hit me up on social media all the time and send me emails, kyle at dirtbikechannel.com, and they ask me for tire recommendations. And I recently have had a quite a few questions about these Shinco 505 cheater tires. Like this is a brand new Shinco 505 right here that I'm going to uh, put, put on, this, on this rim. Um, and they say, hey, have you ever tried the 505? Well, it just so happens I have four dirt bikes right now and they all have Shinco tires on them. I've got three of them right here. The other one is in the, is in the garage. On the Husky, I've got the Shinco 505 cheater. On, on this uh, KTM 250XC, I've got the 525 cheater. And this one also on the Honda is the 525. So I really, really like these tires. I didn't know anything about them like a year and a half ago, and it's basically all I've been running for a quite a while now, at least six months. I'm gonna branch out and get, try some different things, uh, but these tires are really good. So what is the Shinco 505 Cheater? It's basically a hybrid, it's a gummy tire. It's like a, it's like a trials tire um, and a motocross tire kind of put together in one. I've got a trials tire up there, maybe I'll shoot a shot of that, but a trials tire has a lot of knobs really close together and it's made for maximum contact with the ground. But they're very, they're kind of, they have flimsy carcasses and so uh, they, they really help to put a lot of uh, surface area down on, on like rocks and different things so you get a lot of traction, but they're not very good for, for sand or or uh, mud and because they, they don't clean out. So Shinco came along with this 505 cheater tire and these knobs are just very, very, when you get one, you're like, man, it feels like it's a gummy tire. It feels like they'll just, those knobs will turn right off, but they don't. This is what that, this is what this bike, and this bike has what, 16 hours on it? And so the gummy tires, the knobs like on that 505, they'll start to break down and wear down pretty quickly. But the cool thing about that tire is it will, it, it has a long wear life. Even when it starts to look like it's kind of worn down a bit, um, it still gets fantastic performance because of the compounds in that rubber. Um, so that's a very, very good tire. I think, I think the 505 is probably best for rocky terrain or hard pack terrain um, because it's got those close knobs together. A lot of rubber hits the trail. It's really, really good for out here in the Rocky Mountains in the summer months for when we're riding Alpine single track and it works really well on rock and slick rock and things like that. Where I think the 505 kind of suffers is in the sand and in the mud. It just doesn't do that well. Uh, and I think that's because the knobs are pretty close together. That's where the 525 comes in is it has more of a motocross tread pattern. It still uses, I think, the same compound or a very similar compound, the 525 does, but the knobs, the, the treads are, are spread further apart. And so it's really, it's a lot better in my opinion in the sand and in the mud and in the loamy type stuff and the loose stuff. So this is a really fantastic tire. One downside to this tire though is that it, it seems like it wears out. The 525 doesn't seem like it has quite as long uh, of a life as far as longevity goes. Um, as, as compared to the 505, but it kind of is, it's the ultimate hybrid tire in my opinion. They come in a 110 width and a 120 width. Uh, talking to some of the guys down in Arizona that use these 525s a lot, they say, hey look, if you get the 120 width, it tends to last a little bit longer, but they, they do weigh more because it's a heavier, it's more, there's more rubber there. But this 525 is a fantastic tire. The 505 is also a fantastic tire and I really, really like them. The price is also very good too. Uh, and I know we're talking just about the rear tires, but just a, just a plug on the front tires. If I have one here, I've got one over, all of these bikes actually have the five, it's, it's the Shinko 546 front. I'll just drag this one over into the shot. This is a tire that I'm gonna replace with one up there. This is the Shinko 546. It's kind of like the companion for these tires. And it's also a very, uh, it's a very good front tire as well. Um, so anyway, I just really, really like these Shinkos. It's a good price. They, are, they wear well. They'll wear kind of quick. And here's something else to just kind of say. I know a lot of other guys have said this, but I think it bears repeating. 
that you can either have a really good performing tire or you can have a really long lasting tire. The tire that is in the middle that lasts forever and performs really well is kind of like a unicorn. There are some out there that can kind of do it in certain, in certain situations, in certain, certain circumstances, but generally speaking, a really good performing tire is going to wear out pretty quick. And if it doesn't wear out pretty quick and it lasts you for 40 or 50 hours, it's probably not going to be a good performing tire. This one on it, the one on the Husky has, I think 16 hours on it. Uh, on this guy, I, I'd have to go double check the, the hour meter. It's got maybe around 12 to 15. And this one has, what do we have? Like 12 hours on this tire. And a lot of times I don't go more than about 20 hours on my tires, especially on the rear, because the very best thing I think, that you can do as far as to upgrade the performance of your bike is to put new rubber on it. You know, you'll get so much more bang for your buck out of putting new rubber on it than you will like a pipe or some other engine motor mod or something like that. Tires are so critical and it just helps to keep good, fresh rubber on there. Everything works better. The suspension works better. Handling works better. Traction is better. It just helps everything. So yes, these Shinko 505 cheaters, very, very good. I would say that they're good for the rocky stuff, the hard pack stuff, um, the summer months in the mountains and the Rocky Mountains. They're not so good in the sand and in the mud. The 525 is definitely better for sandier, looser, muddier conditions. It's more, I mean, if you had, if you, if we had a trials tire, uh, the trials tire would be over here. The 505 is the most closely related to the trials tire, but it's great for enduro stuff that you see me doing on the, on this channel. And then this is coming closer over to the motocross style stuff and more of a knobby stuff with the 525s. So that kind of, that kind of give you, that can kind of give you an overview of these tires. They're very, very good. And uh, I buy all these tires from Rocky Mountain ATV. If you want to support Dirt Bike Channel, please use the links down in the description. I have links in the description to buy these tires from Rocky Mountain ATV and from Amazon. And that is one of the ways that I'm supporting my family now. So if you want to help uh, use, if you want to help buy your tires through my links, it won't cost you anything, but it'll help me out a ton.